Hey, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Todd and this is Greenhorn Barbecue and Beer. And today we're going to show you how to take a cheap Chinese knockoff of a traditional American cast iron skillet and make it look like a well seasoned uh, vintage uh, piece here. Give me fuel, give me fire, give me that which I desire. Okay, what we got to work with here is this Costco Chinese cast iron skillet, Tramontina. Okay, as you can see here, I got this nice, uh, well seasoned uh, cast iron skillet here. Uh, has haven't seasoned it in a while, but uh, as you can see, it's, it's nice and smooth. Um, it could end up looking a lot prettier than it does, but uh, anyway, here again is a Costco skillet, um, made in China, 10 inch. Tramontina, and uh, what we're going to work with today, I'm going to be using the 80 grit 4 inch sander, 100 grit random orbital sander, and I got some uh, to kind of finish it up, a little 150 uh, to do the little edges by hand and some of the radius in here. And I'm going to use this little sanding sponge to kind of get in there really good. And also um, this little brand new skillet here by Natural Elements. Not sure where it's made, but um, we're going to go ahead and smooth that one up and uh, season it as well. My wife likes to use this for uh, doing little uh, breakfast, uh, frying up eggs and uh, browning things and stuff like that. So, always use hearing protection and eye protection. I have uh, sunglasses on, so I'll go ahead and skip that. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is use an 80 grit, and I'm just going to go around into the pan, um, getting up close to the edge. I'm going to apply light pressure and just let the tool do the work. I don't want to get any gouges in there, and I'll just try to avoid that as much as possible. Um, and really, I'm, right now, I'm just looking to kind of smooth out the, uh, the high spots. As you can see, I'm about uh, done using the 80 grit. Got a lot of little divots in here. That's what I'm trying to get rid of as much as possible. I don't want to go too deep because it's not that thick of a pan. But uh, I'm going to work on it a little bit more, maybe another five minutes. I'm not going to stay in one spot too long, and I just want to get rid of uh, all these little divots. Okay, now I'm going to take the random orbital sander. I'm using 120 grit, and I'm just going to kind of all right that's looking really nice there's still these little divots in here but uh but that's okay you know the job of that oil when you season this is to fill in those divots and create a nice non-stick surface uh, when it's done right. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the edges on this and then we'll come back and we'll uh, season this up. Okay, I think I got the worst of it. Uh, got all the, the big peaks and valleys uh, kind of evened out. Um, see there's still uh, a lot of areas in this radius here that is just kind of hard to get to with the tools I have. Um, and then this little dent right here, I'm going to work on hand sanding that out a little bit um, and just trying to, again, just get the, uh, the worst of it. I think the flat area is, is pretty nice. I'll probably hit it one more time with the random orbital sander uh, with the 120 grit uh, and uh, see how it comes out. Okay, now I'm going to work on this uh, flat iron griddle here. Okay, 
So as you can see already 100% better. Um, just like the other one, there's a lot of little, these little uh, divots in here, um, but basically all the high spots for the most part are down. I'm just gonna work with the edges a little bit and then give it overall sanding. I think we're done. So apparently a long time ago when uh, companies like Lodge and, and others used to make these cast iron skillets, they used, they used to actually take the time to machine them flat and uh, get all the casting marks from the sand and whatever media they were using to, to cast these pans with flat. That was when the days of cheap labor or uh, people really cared about uh, their finished products so over the years. Uh, they've skipped that step um, for whatever excuses you might hear that uh, oh the rough surface uh, helps the seasoning attach better or, or whatever but uh, bottom line is if uh, cast iron skillets weren't so valuable because they're smooth and they've been seasoned so well um, we wouldn't be doing this so uh, so it's definitely worth it and uh, look for a future video uh, of us cooking with those pans just to show you how nice they are when they're properly seasoned okay so uh, the coals look just about ready so I'm gonna go ahead and kind of lay these out Okay, and I'm just gonna try to get them a nice even. Okay, so you don't want to put oil on a cold cast iron skillet, so I'm gonna get these warmed up a little bit. Okay, cast iron conducts heat really well, so you just want to take your hand when you feel that coming up to temperature. Basically, the pores in the metal are gonna open up. It's just like uh, when you take a hot shower, um, you get all those nooks and crannies opening up to accept that oil and you'll get a much better seasoning. Okay, so I'm just going to take a shop rag. Okay, using olive oil, you can use a number of different kinds of oils, but uh, use whatever you feel like. coating all that raw metal. You don't need a whole lot. Okay, let me do the other pan. Go around the edge. Get all those little Anywhere you might have done some grinding on, on the metal. All around the sides. Okay, lay it. Okay, I'll open up these wide and I'm going to let it go until the coals burn out and it cools down. Okay, so it's been a couple hours and uh, pulled these off and I'm not sure why it's spotty like that. I uh, thought I uh, put a pretty even coat of oil on there, so what I'm going to do, um, I've had them off for a little bit, they've had a chance to cool off but not completely, they're still pretty warm. So I'm going to add a little bit more oil, a little bit thicker, I'm using a cotton, 100% cotton cloth. So I'm going to put it on there pretty evenly. Give it a nice little coating. Do it by hand this time. And then put it back on. I'm going to do them both. Again, I'm going to do it by hand this time. Even I'm gonna put it back on. Try that for a few more hours. Okay, it's been about an hour at 350 with that uh, olive oil.
Okay, there we go. Not sure why it's kind of spotted like that. Um, I think it'll be just fine though. Um, Okay, it's been about another hour at 350. And there we go. So I'm not sure what's causing all these uh, striations or it's kind of a runny, kind of globby look. I did a second layer of uh, olive oil and used a uh, cotton rag on it this time. Um, but um, I think it, it's fine. Um, it's acceptable to me. I think over time it's going to season just fine. I think we got the non-stick coating on there, and uh, you know, we'll give this a shot. So, anyway, if uh, you got any comments, uh, if you know what caused this, uh, give me a, a comment down below and uh, let me know what you think. Uh, any suggestions? Maybe something that I did wrong. Um, this is the first time I've ever actually ground smooth a cast iron skillet. Um, again, this is the Chinese one, um, and uh, not sure that has anything to do with anything. But uh, let me know what you think, uh, and of course, like and subscribe to this video if you want to see more. See you later.